I was first diagnosed with asthma when uh, I was a child. Teachers kept offering for me to sit out of sport days or you know sit out of dance classes in case my asthma would flare up and that led to a bit of isolation and a bit of bullying so that was really hard. I decided when I was in high school that I no longer wanted to be the kid with asthma so I decided to ignore it and hope that it would go away. As a result of that I got quite sick when I was in year 12 back in 2006 and I suffered a quite severe attack. I had a respiratory induced cardiac arrest on the 2nd of June 2006 and as a result of that I was cl clinically dead for about 12 minutes. Putting my family through that is the biggest mistake I ever made because I stopped taking my medication. When I woke up in hospital after the um, event, I was surrounded by my family and I realised how important my life was and how easy it is to lose it when you're not looking after it. A big hobby of mine is music and in particular opera. Having asthma I had to learn to look after my breathing and make sure I could breathe properly and when I realised that I loved to sing, I was able to learn to actually use my breathing as a calming technique. I became more involved with my doctors and the specialists at the Prince Charles Hospital and we started on different therapies with my asthma to find the, the one that suited me. I perform a peak flow reading every morning and every night and we would track that in a grid. When I, when I got a, a bit better and a bit healthier then I would find out what months or what particular seasons were worse for me and I would take the peak flows to see the variance in that. It's something that I have complete control over and it's something I can control in my life.